Meghan Markle here. Today is March 30th, 2024. It is 4.39 a.m. Literally, there's nothing really going on to talk about, but I actually was supposed to work on something completely different. As actually a couple of things I should be working on. The membership to set up things and uh, my t-shirt things I should be working on, especially when there's nothing you know, to update you about, um, what else, uh, my Spotify thing, workshop, uh, store, I shut it, not shut it down. I, um, sort of put it on pause because there's some stuff I need to do. So these are the things I should have been working on. And like a one, I would say one or two, I decided, let me see what's going on on Twitter. I've been there ever since. It's now almost five o'clock and I was just liking things for when I have time again to come back to and share with you. Then <laughs> the list got long. I went back and I was like, instead of spending time doing all of this, let me just grab some. I ended up with 18 tweets to share with you that they are here. So forget what I wanted to work on and I'm going to tackle these, uh, uh, videos. If I have time to edit them and share them with you, I'll share them with you. But it's really, you'll see, you make your own decision depending on how you see it. There's a lot of other noises that's going on. I ignore, but these are the good ones. Okay. So these are the numbers. You see them analytic. There they are. Usually when I share these, you know, you could either listen to what I'm saying or just skip them completely. So let's go on Twitter. All right. So the squad, this is why the royal family and the royal vats cannot do their stuff in peace because the squad keeps on talking. I have a couple of these on my, uh, on the list. So let me follow my list so I don't lose track. Oh, look at this. This is the first one. Actually, <laughs> that was the first one. Um, let me make sure. Yeah, it is the first one. Okay. Pregnant woman can't squat. All right. So that's the tweet this guy was saying. And uh, someone retweeted it with uh, Kate squatting. Okay. Kate Middleton practiced her mom's squat. That was when? 2013. All right. So I don't know if she was pregnant around that time. I have no clue. I wasn't following them around that time. Heavily pregnant, Kate Middleton keeps it casual and military style, a Dulce Cabana coat. There's that here. Now, the most important thing is, is the video of it. And I believe this is a retweet with sharing this. I have my, I respond to it. Yeah, I respond to it too. But let's go to this. This YouTuber claim Megan Marco was wearing a moon bump and suggests pregnant woman can't squat. All right, so that was a tweet, and then this person squatty retweeted showing Kate squatting. So let's listen to that. It's only 37 seconds, and then I'll let's go on my. Let's be honest, and I have to say this in my own opinion and without prejudice. Mm, there it is. It's my wife is running around with a fake moon bump. I mean, it's it's apparent. It's apparent. It's apparent. No one's gonna say, but that's what I believe. What I seen. I mean. Some of the squats that she was doing. I mean, I tell you now, when my wife was pregnant, there's no way she could have got down and had her legs open. And, and I mean, to be honest, it, it, it looked ridiculous, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yes, and it's in the paper today. And I
Okay. Let's be honest. So pretty much he just threw his um his wife under the bus. I guess your wife is not that flexible. So there there this is my comment here. Okay. Is he speaking from experience or am I missing something here? I bet he will not believe experienced gem goers will not be able to squat with barbell. He's just an ass. Okay. So these are the screenshot that I put. All right. Barbell squats, like any other exercises, can be safe to do during pregnancy as long as they are done with proper form and technique and the weight is adjusted appropriately. However, as pregnancy progresses, some adjustments may need to be made to the exercise and the weight use. All right? So if you have been going to the gym, you have experience on all of this, okay? You could still do them. And there's me showing images of Megan doing, you know, her pose and then she's working on her abs here and everything. All right, this little movement that she's doing here, it's freaking hard to do. It looks simple, but it's very hard to work your, your core. All right, there she is doing this. All right, so, and I picked some pictures from Google of pregnant woman doing what I was just saying. There she is here, pregnant, doing that. All right, and then there's another one here. This one is even harder. Look how deep down she goes with the barbell. I mean, I'm not saying it's not that heavy, but it's a decent size still. She's doing the squat. Perfect form, alignment, and then give space for the abdominal, the baby, the bump to, you know, go down along. Okay, so let me just read these and then move on. Then one of the derangers do a long ass post about her and her husband shocked that she could squat while pregnant. There's a clown here. I hate it when a man shows his ignorance by proclaiming out loud what women can't do at any point in our lives and experience. The fact that we're designed to grow a human being in our abdomen and birth it should say loudly that women can pretty much do anything. All right. So there's that here. Okay. So let's go to the next one. My goodness. And it's crazy next one so this is um it's not the video but it's the text of it a caption of when anderson was um uh, interviewing harry for spare and i have the audio of it i'll put it there you go page six and other sources but nothing from harry don't lie when you come on my page unless you have proof okay 60 minute with anderson cooper Anderson Cooper, can you see, <laughs> can you see a can day see when you will return as a... When you would return as a full-time member of the royal family? No. He didn't even take a second to respond. He just go, no. So that's what she retweeted. Go check page six and numerous other sources, not your Google. I mean, there's videos of them saying that. Okay. Okay, Meg, laughing my ass off. I'm a true and stupid just as I thought. There's all of that. Okay. So there's me here responding. Harry didn't even take a second to think about the question. The no came out of his mouth. Second Anderson said, family. And then Harry was like, nope. Okay. So let's go to the next one. This is an ad. Next tweet. Now, this is a retweet. This is me who retweeted People Magazine. Kate Middleton online conspiracy theories linked to Russian-based disinformation campaign. Okay, so this is that tweet here. That I'll go back to my um to my retweet. Okay, trying to take attention away from the Sussex squad. Sussex squad. These are what some people are saying here, or maybe because she's lying about having cancer and people is not buying it. All right, there's the laugh here, Russia. Okay, it's linked to Harry and Megan's friends, really. <laughs> Oh, I didn't read the article, so I don't know what they say. So there's my retweet here. Let's go back. And I say, you sure this has nothing to do with this pointing down here? Let's not bring other countries into this debacle. All right? And I have more. It's a long thread about it. Okay. So there's this here. Phil Chetwin, the global news director of AFP, told BBC Radio 4, quote, the media shows on Wednesday that the agency decided to kill the photo due to glaring editing issues and Kensington Palace ignoring their request 
for the original image. We then get a reply, which is why we killed the photo, he said. Okay, that's from US uh, Today. And then there's more here. The global news director of agency France Press, one of the world's biggest news agencies, told the BBC that Kensington Palace is no longer a trusted source. After releasing a doctored photo of Kate Middleton and her three children and said AFP's decision to kill the photo of Middleton was a very dramatic move. And then there's this here. What they posted on their IG, okay, with the warning that's, that was an altered uh, picture. All right. And there's that here. Okay. Now looking at it, literally right now, looking at her head here, it looks kind of weird. For some reason okay so that's that and i continued there's this here the royal family continues with their stupidity rather than stop they want people to accept their false narrative so there's this here okay kate Middleton mother's day photo credited prince william as photographer and there's that here prince william took kate's mother day's photo all right and all of a sudden, they remove his name from it. So this was a tweet screenshot that I got about um, where she was talking about her cancer thing here. Okay. And this is TMZ. Okay. Who's discrediting the image of them do the walkabout. Times I've looked at this video so often. And um, yeah, I, I, my gut is, my gut was, it was her. But then I started looking at some of the comments and things that people are posting about why they don't think it's her. And they have some points about her height, about her height compared to William, where uh, her eye line is when she's looking at him normally, um, some things about her chin. There are a lot of different details that people have picked out, even in the way she, this woman walks. Now I'm not, before I was, I would say I was, 95 percent when i first saw it i was like oh that's her and it certainly looks like william um but even the william some people are picking apart that maybe it's not him I, it, 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 it is endless mystery behind this thing and, and the bigger question is if it's not her then again we're left with where is kate um and what is going on with her so and why would the palace be involved if they are in another sort of hoax to make us think that Kate is okay. They, because there was the, the Mother's Day photo was such a blunder. Why would they do it again? Yeah, Which is what made me think at first it was her because there's like, there's no way they do that again. They got caught the first time. They wouldn't do it again. I feel like but. every woman in London and in England are lining up to be a Kate Middleton stunt <laughs> double. <laughs> <or> <laughs> like model, everything. I mean, what do you think needs to happen at this point, Charles? All right, so there's the AI here. Okay, and there's more here. Some doctors don't even agree with her talking point. Telling the truth will be easier than bringing in other countries and this manufactured and unnecessary nonsense. Just stop. Innocent people might get hurt and trying to force people to believe the lies. All right, so there's all of that. Okay, so that's that was a response to People magazine. So I had to tweet it out because of all these images I need to do. Otherwise, I, ha I will have to create different tweets under their post. So I wanted to keep all of my response under one thing. Okay, so that's that. Let's move on. I'm telling you, they're really force feeding people to accept their BS. Next one. There's that here. In case you missed it, Royal commentator love Kate Middleton because, quote, she is a good little girl who doesn't say anything. I have the video of the person who said it. There it is. One of the reasons Catherine is so popular amongst certain demographics, and I'm going to say older people and yeah. men, is because she says absolutely nothing. nothing. Yeah. She's a good little girl who keeps quiet and doesn't tell, doesn't complain, mm. doesn't, doesn't yeah. do anything, doesn't rock the boat, and is a very traditional, old-fashioned, mute woman. Take Okay, major international news agencies said that Kensington Palace is no longer a trusted source since the infamous manipulated photo, which is one of the screenshots I just read on the things that I just shared with you with the retweet that I did for people. Okay, so let's look into that. 
Everyone likes Kate Middleton because she's a good little girl who doesn't say anything, said Royal Commentator. Kate Middleton get high points when it comes to popularity. One Royal expert says Kate is such a fan favorite among the Royal family members because she stay quiet. Oh my, I can't believe this. That was um, 2022. And there's that here. Any date? Yep, 2024, March 14. Uh, the global news editor of Asians France Press, one of the world's biggest news agencies, told the BBC that Kensington Palace is no longer a trusted source after releasing a doctored photo of Kate Middleton and her three children and said AFP's decision to kill the photo of Middleton was a rare dramatic move normally reserved for North Korea or Iranian propaganda. Okay, the same thing that I just did here, except Google gave you um, gave a screenshot uh, of it. So there it is here. Okay. Is there any comment? There's no comment. So let's move on. So these are some of the conversation that's going on on Twitter. Even though the royal family, nothing from Salty Island. So the conversation continues pretty much among the squad. Next tweet. Kensington Palace urged to disassociate themselves from, quote, vile bullying trolls, end quote, targeting Meghan Markle, also urging British tabloid to stop the Harry and Meghan fixation. All right, so that's a retweet here of this, a screenshot. Prince Harry and Meghan urge to disassociate themselves from vile trolls targeting Kate. <laughs> so the, where's my retweet? Oh, so there's my tweet here. Okay, just returning the favors, that's it. The Express have a hide to say anything, Taxi British Media. Look at all of this. I'm not going to go through all of it, but I just want to read it. This is what industrial scale hate mongering looks like. All the stories below attacking Meghan, mainly, and Harry, quite a bit, appear on the Express website within the last 24 hours. 44 bile, I guess, vile fill rent in just one day. That's a pace of 16,000 attacks a year. All right, there's the list here. Okay. So, is the Express who's saying that? Oh, the Express is saying <laughs> it was them who saying to uh, they urging Harry and Meghan to disassociate themselves with the uh, with the Sussex squad. I mean, for all I know, Harry and Meghan could close shop, don't do anything. Guess what? As long as the squad are still communicating online, I will still be there because these people are vile. They want to continue their nonsense and peace. They don't want people to. Uh, check them or call them out on their stupidity so there's that here them so there's me here wow four people like it okay they will have to disassociate with themselves because they are the ones who's doing the vile bullying we're just correcting them and they don't like it the uk is the inventor of this vileness for the same exact purpose as they are doing now i look into it in 2020 so i put a video of myself um that I did on PYTE regarding the British tabloid. That's when I was first starting looking into Harry and Meghan. And I'm glad that I share it with you because this was a process. I even forgot how it went. But um, I remember I did it, but I don't remember what I said. And uh, the title speaks for itself. British tabloid, same old practice, this time might be different. Okay, so it's on PYTE. Racism as such, as a philosophy, uh, kicked in was uh, as a direct reaction to the abolitionist movement. The abolitionist movement driven by the, some of the leading intellectuals of the day, as well as driven by hundreds of thousands of ordinary people in this kingdom who signed petitions after petitions and presented them to the House of Lords. When the abolition movement really kicked in, in the, from the 1780s onwards, the planters had to respond. And so they, this is where you get the most virulent uh, imagery about brutal, pagan, bestial. But the media is a powerful force. Black people in the literature um, and in the imagery. Cartoons portraying black people as licentious and depraved began to circulate. 
but the media is a powerful force. The anti-abolitionist Edward Long wrote, The lower class women in England are remarkably fond of the blacks. In the course of a few generations more, the English blood will become so contaminated with this mixture as even to reach the middle and then the higher orders of the people. This is a venomous and dangerous ulcer that threatens to disperse its malignancy far and wide until every family catches infection from it. Okay, let me read what's there and then move on. Bottom up. How about urging the derangered trolls from spewing hate against Prince Harry and Princess Meghan? Okay, who's doing the urging? <laughs> Have a good day. That's an ad. Uh, it's the vowel trolls description that causes me to think that someone at KP is projecting. All right, so that's that. Let's move on. I told you there were some small little good com conversation that's going on. And there's a lot more. I decided to pick these things only next to it now i'm gonna read this because i believe i have two or three other tweets that has the same thing but just different caption okay so let's get started ringing and whining because we black their white noise and then complaining about what we say although blocked multiple accounts come to mind there's the lafayette sussex squad we love you harry and megan okay so let's see here Quote, they jump on any post that criticizes Harry and Meghan or shows massive support of the Prince and Princess of Wales. Another woman claimed those posting under the Sussex Squad hashtag have created smear campaigns against former members who disagree with them. I don't know what they're talking about. Okay, she said, quote, they have black squad to make sure everyone blacks you on Twitter. You're not allowed to mention any mishaps or false step the couple may have made or you are pushed out. A third said most of the main royal accounts have been targeted over the years. Around 200 accounts were bullied off Twitter with the constant relentless harassment from the squad. Nah, the harassment is coming from the, the royal rat. They do their, how you call this, their little blueprint. I once started meaning that once they have a narrative going, the royal rats, they have a narrative going, they create a fake account of themselves writing the thing. Couple times, the squad have uncovered them. It's them because they forget which account that they were using to spew out their BS. And then the squad called them out. And I think Midas Touch as well, it's one of, it's run by lawyers pretty much. Okay, well-minded people who knows the law and things like that have uncovered, have said something similar like that to one of those tabloid papers. Okay, they create something from a bogus account and then they pick it up from another source and then they start the noise. Okay, so that's that. Okay, a third say most of the main royal accounts have been targeted over the years. Around 200 accounts were bullied off Twitter with the constant relentless harassment from the squad. Nah, as a matter, we, we black them. Why we go chase them? We black them. Many times I posted on their, on their things when they pop up on my timeline and I will respond to it and said, please black me and I will do the same because your alignment doesn't, your... Your vileness doesn't align with my viewpoint. I literally have said it. I don't remember. Like maybe two or three weeks ago. And I blacked that particular account. All right. So I just read that part. On a now deleted post on the Sussex Squad podcast page, one Megan supporter won, quote, if you come on our platform, you lose your right to privacy. What? <laughs> I don't know. We will find you. Call your job. Hmm? Nah, they don't want who's created that and then to create. This is the same thing again. It has to be them. Okay. The royal rat putting this thing, pretend to be Sussex squad and then to come and write this. There's no way. Nobody have time for this. Who in their right mind will go look for those people's phone number and then call their home or um, their, uh, how do you call this? Their job. I don't have time for this. We will find you, call your job, contact your families, etc. Try it and see what will happen. Nah, that's not the squad. Okay, you have no free speech on any of our platform. Nah, that's not the squad. Uh, while Harry and Meghan have also been the focus of vile and racist social media campaign. What? Those worry about power wielded by the Sussex squad claim members 
are a coordinate group. Nah. Okay? Now they're attacking the squad because they can't do the things that they used to do freely. Okay? We call them out. So they pretend to be a Sussex squad. If whatever it is that they're spewing, it might be under account that pretend to be a Sussex squad, but it's not a true squad. Okay? They're creating these to pick up on and then to write about. This is not the squad. Okay? These are not the squad who will be saying that. Okay, so there's me here. The squad learned from the best in that department, the UK tabloid. At the same time, Sussex squad keep their core values in check. The UK tab, Royal Rat, bring toxic, vile atmosphere and any positive discussions. Sussex squad, Sussex squad black their asses for their vileness. Royal Rats do the same exact thing when anyone correct them and they're vile. Okay, so what's the problem? <laughs> There's the laugh here. They're also angry at as the Sussex squad and supporters because they know they are losing the PR against Harry and Meghan. The nasty trolls and royalists started this hate against the Sussexes and they then expect the pushback by supporters of Harry and Meghan. Now they cry. I say you reap what you saw. That's exactly that. There's one comment here. Let's see. What did they say here? Okay, Kensington Palace started this hate. Exactly. The press and bats are run by KP. The royalists follow their lead. That's it. Yeah, this is what I was saying here. When I work, in, let me pause it. Uh, when I work in the, you know what? The, she's just quoting what she's saying here. Let me just let you play. Uh, let me just play this and listen to it. There will be a screenshot though. When actually it's Harry and Meghan's war on the press and the media. That's and true. as they say at the start That's of true. episode one, they say so many books and shows and stories have been written about us. We wanted to have our own say. And remember, the purpose of the PR office at the royal family is to keep the royals in the press all the time. So you have to remember when I work in newsrooms, it's a fact that every anti Harry and Meghan story comes from Kensington yeah, Palace. But, but why have and if it comes from Kensington Palace, right. why are they. Briefing against their own grandson. Well, uh, okay, that's a very the, the idea. Why are there never any? Well, I think that's fascinating. About Prince William. Well, here. William and Kate involved in, in yeah, briefing against know. them originally. I don't know. Yes, you that's do. A good point. Yes, you do. Uh, yep, I agree with all of what you said. Yeah, this needs to be retweeted. Exactly. That's the thing because they cannot do their thing in peace. All right, so there's that here. <laughs> it is what it is. There's the laugh here. And so what is the problem? Their hate is not coordinate. There's the question. Still makes it hate, which will not go unanswered. Keyboard Karen. <laughs> Keyboard Karen saying vile things and then crying victim. I don't think so. If people were targeted, it's because they're vile, be vile. Okay, vile. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. Again, UK tabloid. There's this again. I'm not going to read it. We black them to make our replies more upbeat and pleasant and they wrench about us taking toxicity out of our own lives for our own mental health. I can't. Taxi trolls. All right. So there's that here. Okay. These are just GIF. <laughs> there's the squad here. Uh, hardly any blacking these days after my big spree a while ago. Timeline very peaceful. Yep. Yep, many times they pop up on my timeline and I'm like, why the hell are you on my timeline? I blocked you. Because every little good discussion we're having, it could be about Harry and Megan's work, very upbeat. They come and poof, there's the punch with their stupidity. We block them. Because if you cannot be part of the good discussion, why even invite you? <laughs> okay, Sam, life is good. <laughs> Sickos. Yeah, that's all they are. All right, let's go to the next tweet. All right, I don't know. I think the same is a retweet of the same thing again, is it? No, I'm making reference to it. British media acts like Prince Harry and Meghan not being informed about Kate preventive chemo is some kind of a on to Harry and Meghan. When the couples aren't close, Kate says she and Meghan are not close for Meghan to know about her health. Why do they think this is an on to a Harry and Meghan? They want Harry and Meghan to acknowledge their existence so bad that it's hurting them. LOL. That's exactly it. All right. Exactly. As myself and others have highlighted, this was the modus operandi since before Meghan met Harry. The brothers were never close and the couples are the same. All right. That's an ad. Let's read this. 
Her own sister seemed either not to have known about it or known it wasn't serious because there she was frolicking in the Caribbean. Yeah, there was, I don't think I shared that. There was an image of her vacation somewhere on, on a beach, you know, with her bikinis or whatever. I just ignore. Okay, I'm honest. Oh, the reason no one was told about this cancer is they made it up on the spur of the moment to garner sympathy. This is why I was like, I didn't believe it, but just in case, okay, I don't want to sound too harsh, but it just seems so convenient all of a sudden. These are not the people with cordial relationship. Neither side knows what the other is doing and Harry and uh, Baldy like don't speak. It's about creating the illusion that Harry and Meghan are, quote, being excluded from the royal family that they left behind four years ago. And that's not only that. When they talking about heavy not and inv being invited to certain things, they were so, you know, proud of saying they're not inviting heavy. And That's the negativity in their brain to them. This is fun. This is that freaking um, savagery kind of mindset these people have. The barbaric behavior when they say uh, either the royal family is doing something. You even hear during the jubilee some of the things the uh, presenters were saying were so, vi were so vile it's unbelievable all right let me read this and then move on william probably heard it the same way okay i love the squatters and now international media scrutiny of the british media i'm prayerful their days of lying with impunity are numbered william has been told his whole life that he's better special above all others supreme above reproach superior now he believes it yep he's been believing it and this is why he felt the need to push harry and megan out you see the length i have a video about that regarding the simon case thing here you see the length that he went to make sure to make sure his brother does not return he Hire the best of the best who knows the law to make sure Harry does not come back. Okay. I began to address Granny about the five options. Your Majesty, you've seen the five options? Yes, she said. We all had. They'd been emailed to us. Five different ways of proceeding. Option one was continuance of the status quo. Meg and I don't leave. Everyone tries to go back to normal. Option five was full severance. No royal role, no working for granny, and total loss of security. Option three was somewhere in between, a compromise, closest to what we'd originally proposed. I told everyone assembled that, above all, I was desperate to keep security. That was what worried me most, my family's physical safety. I wanted to prevent a repeat of history, another untimely death, like the one that had rocked this family to its core, 23 years earlier, and from which we were still trying to recover. I'd consulted with several palace veterans, people who knew the inner workings of the monarchy and its history, and they all said option three was best for all parties. Meg and I living elsewhere part of the year, continuing our work, retaining security, returning to Britain for charities, ceremonies, events. Sensible solution, these palace veterans said, and eminently doable. But the family, of course, pushed me to take option one. Barring that, they would only accept option five. We discussed the five options for nearly an hour. At last, the bee got up and went round the table, handing out a draft of a statement the palace would soon be releasing, announcing implementation of option five. Wait, I'm confused. You've already drafted a statement? Before any discussion? Announcing option five? In other words, the fix was in this whole time? This summit was just for show? No answer. So he felt like all of this, I believe. He's better than anybody. He's supreme. That's the word here. Supreme. So he thought once he kicked his brother out, hey, everything will be the same. People will be cheering for him. All those cheers and jeers he was getting when Harry was walking behind him, these were all Harry's work. So now he's going to learn. In one old video, could be two or three years ago, I said, he's going to learn. How? Because the world will teach him. And that's the beginning of it. 
Harry and Meghan don't treat him like a king, they treat him like a brother. I'm sure that offends William something fierce. Because they still think the world thirsts for the royal families approval and inclusion it's kind of sad but funny at the same time they are so used to defense and we are like uh why exactly all right um i really don't think harry and megan want to know anything about Catherine, especially when it comes to her health kate weaponized a random thought about hormones imagine what she'd do if harry and megan remark on her cancer diagnosis wink william and kate harry and megan have moved on yep uh, yep, Harry found out about William and Kate engagement and the news. <laughs> what? Even though, yeah, it was, yeah, I forgot about that. Yep, Harry found out about William and Kate's engagement and the news even though they had just been to Africa together. This is a typical behavior from William. It's crazy. Yeah, there's something about him. Either whatever the palace have been training him in remain maybe they made him feel like there's something heavy is cooking up in him for him to hate on the brother i don't know meanwhile harry was the only one who had his back all right next tweet in the battle of brothers lacy described young willie's relationship with baby harry being quote almost as his favorite toy end quote this might have been cute at age three but at age 40 it's underlined the alarming sense of ownership willie still feels over harry yeah let's um is that a video 59 seconds there's a music here at the beginning here okay let's pause let's pause he is heavy on holiday and mojaka relaxing with the spanish royal family i think that's what it says The young prince clearly wanted his photo taken with a Shih Tzu puppy named Barbie. Look at this. Look at this. He's trying to pick up the puppy, pick it up, pick it up. And then as soon as he have a good grip, the brother came out of nowhere to put it down. Look at this. Alright. While Harry was clearly smitten, William soon tired of his little brother antics. Okay. Look at this. Make him put it down. Look at this. This is the part I don't like. He refused to let him play with the puppy. You see, the only point, well, well, the other royals, um, royal family, the Spanish will not they get involved. There's Princess Diana making sure to discipline him. Discipline, you know, just let your brother be kind of. Let me move it back slightly. It's almost done. my goodness all right um is that an ad no this type of narcissism isn't new king george the third believed the same thing he threatened anyone who talked against the crown with treason brits and the colonies had enough all right so that's that here this is part on willie let's pause just looking at how the young princes relate with that puppy tells you a lot about their emotions it confirms who they are even today yeah right william was always a horrible big brother jealous as hell there's that here the mind of a sociopath to treat another human this way much less your blood brother gosh such a jealous nature so early so controlling let harry have his pick with the puppy on the other hand harry's sweet little face watching and drinking in the whole process clever little eyes assessing the photo shoot and thinking about what he felt about it yeah harry was always a thinker has William ever bonded with a pet? I think it speaks volume about them both. Harry loves animals and they love him. I have never seen William with a pet apart from Kate. <laughs> but I don't even think he can stand her either. You've seen other uh, videos of him telling her, don't touch him. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's me retweeting this. Let me read that first and then I'll read my response to it. All right, King Charles isn't sure Prince William is fit to be king. There could be consequences. That was March 28, 2024. All right, so that was the headline here. Uh, there's a saying, the quiet part out loud. Even a blind man can see Willie is unfit to be king 
or in any leadership position for that matter. Apparently, Charles has two years left to live. <laughs> How do they know that? And is worried about Willie's drinking problem and anger issues. Oh, okay. So that was that. All right. Let me read some of the comments here and then I'll read my comment, which is the retweet of it. Bottom up. This is an ad. All right. Now we all know he's unfit. Who wants uh, Jeffrey as king? All right. King Charles III was so busy working that he forgot to raise a king. He left that job to nannies and the men in gray. That's the thing here. This started way, okay, way before Charles. Because the queen has been in position. The queen has been in position for the past, how, how long? 70 something years. Where was Charles? Okay. So he could have spent so much time with, um, with William, teaching him how to run the institution. Apparently he did, but not in the sense for the sake of the country, because he was taking William to parties to deal with the tabloid. He did teach him, but not the way for the sake of the country. This um, article that I stumbled upon was by mere accident. I even forgot what I was searching for when I came across it. I started reading it and all I, I remember exactly my sense when I was reading it. It was only names, names, names. And I was like, what the hell is this? Too many. And then when I put one and one together, I was like, oh my God, he's training him to deal with the tabloid. That's the way that I took that particular article so charles yes charles was training william to be in the position that he is in now now the problem is here charles probably thought he was teaching william the right thing because remember people have re had and probably still do have respect for queen elizabeth so while queen was in in power Charles was probably doing the coattail, getting some positive coverage under the coattail of his mother. So now that the mother died and now he's king, he started in a wrong foot, you know, dishonoring his mother's wishes instead of concert. And now there's the queen, Camilla or whatever. So he's already started in the wrong foot step. So the men in gray suit were already training Charles to be exactly what he is now. Okay, so it's the chain of event, all right? They teach each other, put nonsense in their head. The master mind of all this is men in gray suit, okay? Everything is going accordingly to men in gray suit. And what they did also, when the queen was first ascended to the throne, all right, they booked her. They booked her to go so many places, to stay away from the kids while they were training the kids, which is pretty much Charles. Okay. So they keep her away from Charles while they themselves raising Charles. So all of this is men in gray suit thing. And then the queen did not have the mindset to say, let me take my son with me, you know, bring a nanny to help her alone with the thing. All right. So you see, for instance, there's Harry and Meghan when they were working royal, they took Archie with them. South Africa, you see, they make it a family event, meet um, Archbishop Desmond Tutu. And then the time that they left Archie, when I believe it, when they were dancing with the people and all of that, Archie was with the nanny. And this is where the incident happened with the room. And thank God the nanny had the mindset for some reason, I don't know, I guess God took control of the nanny's body and said, take Archie with you. And then there was the smoke in the room. All right. So all of that. Okay. So Harry and Megan took care of their own child. They want to raise the child themselves. They took him with them. All right. So what we're seeing here is the making of men in gray suit. And then they started telling probably all these are my humble opinion. Okay, they t when the queen ascended to the throne, probably telling her, this is the way thing is done. This is that. And she trusted them, in my humble opinion. She never double checked them. All right. And then when they probably test her once and tell her some BS and she agree with them. And then they tell her another BS. She agree with them. Next thing you know, hey, they pretty much were telling the queen whatever they want. When... um. Harry 
wanted to marry Megan, Harry had to ask the queen permission first. And then the queen was like, in a sense, I believe this is the way that I got it. When Harry asked the queen and the queen was like, why are you asking me? It's like, yeah, you could. And then this is the br um, brilliance of Harry. He waited until the queen was alone to ask the queen this important question to get the okay from her. Because if there were other people around, like for instance, the Sandrium summit, Okay, too many people were around, so the queen could not make her honest decision. She will get those advice, those negative advice from other people. So, Harry waited until the queen was alone to ask that important question. And the queen was like, yeah, why are you even asking me? This kind of thing. Okay, so that's that. Okay, after Charles, a map could be a king. <laughs> that's a good one. Let me go into that. Um, uh, yeah, but the skull will use fire to clean it up. Jocarius, that's Game of Thrones. Anything goes in England, there's a laugh. I mean, they have a bag of sonners cosplaying the king. Well, you gotta go with what you got there. <laughs> that's an ad. So let's go back. This is my comment under this. All right. So the thing here, King Charles isn't sure Prince William is fit to be king. There could be consequences. So there's me here. I guess party is about to be over. Now, nah? with question mark, they should go in peace rather than the way Prince Philip's family left Greece. Make peace with the citizen of UK now. Otherwise, in the time of social media, life will not be good if they fight to keep this going. They will not win. The royal family might get, there's me here, the same exact treatment as they did to the Romanovs, no other Royal countries will take them because British royal family are too toxic and their bodies are the toxic papers. British royal family might just bring their toxicity along with them, so they better cut their losses now. Or be on the run, British government needs to, it's continue, to give them the same exact treatment as they gave Prince Harry. They've shown to the world what a non-working royal can do and can accomplish without taxpayers' money. So return the favor to them. That's all. Okay? So that was my response to the headline. Let's go to the next tweet. Oh my goodness, I'm 40-something minutes here. Next tweet, there's that. I've recently stumbled upon some gorgeous but not widely seen photos of young Prince Harry before his mom's death. Enjoy. All right, so there's Harry here fixing Charles' boots. And there's William here. Is that the, uh, looks like, what's in his hand? A champagne? Yeah. So there's William here. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> there's him playing little soldiers. I believe there's an image I have of him on a motorcycle playing his little thing. He's really uh, into the soldier thing. Look at him looking. I wonder what he was looking at. Hmm. Skiing. Okay, let's see some of the comments. Okay, not seen this one before. It's beautiful. This I cannot see. These are adorable. The top right one has Harry helping his dad while Bulliam has a champagne bottle and a small glass. Since Pa was about to play polo, wonder if Baldilac was pouring himself a little sniffer. Snifter. I believe he was. It was said he started drinking early. Wow. <laughs> There's that here. Wow, this is very significant. Okay, indeed. All right, so let's move on. Let me not waste time. I'm almost an hour. There's some couple more I have left. Not a lot, but a couple more. Okay, so this is my response to this. She did back in the days, I guess, because she did look good. Okay, so let's start from the top. It start here. There's the laugh here. Is this a, a compliment? I sometimes think Willie's minions are actually trolling him. Daniela Elster, back to her psychophantic self, manages to drop the gem into her article. There's the archive version here. All right, today, William now, the Prince of Wales, looks a world away from, from his dishy younger self and more like a Mancunian accountant who spent too much time thinking about his golf handicap and the merit of, of Alexis. All right, so there's that here. I respond to this. Kate looked really good with some meat on her bones. All right, so there's a couple other comments I believe that was under this. Ah, okay, so let's just focus on that and then move on. So she's saying here, 
Kate look good here, you know, because she looks healthy pretty much. Okay, I've always thought that. So there's me here. Uh, she did back in the days, I guess because she did look good, they talk her into not appreciate herself, the royal family are good and psychology. Masterful. Overshadowing is the royal family nemesis. Instead of being upfront with people, they throw their psychological talking point on people to make them self-destruct. Okay? So that's what I say about that. Let's move on. Uh, so here is about Ozzy. What is that? Probably another one that I... <laughs> There's this here. I probably will mute that because YouTube had blacked this uh, video before. And I think this one only uh, played the part of William. Okay, my fellow Australian, as things currently stand, this is your future head of state. I don't know about you, but personally, I like a head of state who could lead our army into battle without sending our enemies into fits of laughter. <laughs> Nine seconds. <laughs> I have to mute it because I had issues with YouTube before. Look at him. All these people there trying to, you know, for safety. And all of them has the, oh my lord. Mm. Okay, and that's here. I mean, this clip always kills me. And to think Baldy Lack holds unearned military title. A lot of them, it's ludicrous. Okay, I think us Australia are tired of that toxic little country full of haters. We and no longer can hold on to the respect we once had for them before social media. Showing us the monarchy is nothing but UK mafia in bed with the toxic British media. Cold and cool, royal family. So very true. I respond to that. Okay, so that's my comment here. After these... Uh, what else okay let's focus on this okay uh, co-signing this from New Zealand it's embarrassing enough to have the current government put the continuous association with the British royal family which seem to continually attract pedos is unnecessary and ridiculous all right so there's my comment here um, this is not to throw shades or anything, just saying. I guess your fellow Aussie had to go through that length to expose the type of a family the royal family is. He is causing some damages in the US as well. In a way, he is exposing people core values, I guess. Well-minded people could see who, who's who, just saying. So this is Rupert Murder. And she responded here, one of the Aussies respond, he's evil, just pure evil, but then he's an old man, so guess he will be going on uh, on a one-way trip soon all right so that's that all right so let's go to the next tweet okay i'm almost an hour there's that here oh no say it's not so not jimmy okay omg did you guys hear that jimmy camel is the most hated man in hollywood <laughs> okay so this they're making reference to this but technically the squad wants to show you what they're talking about there's it here. Charles losing losing grass on crown. All right. So that's the thing they sh sh the squad is trying to tell you. But instead, they focus on this. All right. There's another one here. What's going on with American tabloid next issue? Same theme of Charles saying William is unfit. All right. So this one went straight to it. All right. Wow. Honest tabloid. Don't see that every day. Something big must be going down. Mm-hmm. I don't know. There's that here. Uh, Ken Jennings is a much better host. What is Blossom's revenge gonna be? Good question. All right. So there's that here. Harry and his wife, Megan, are not interested in the Windsors. Okay. I know, right? Such a dumb headline. But Jimmy being the most hated, I find that hard to believe as well. All right. So where's my comment? Or did I retweet it out? Let's see here. Let's go back to the original. Is that that? Did I retweet it? View retweet quote. Huh. Okay. Never mind. So let's move on. So now this is a video. Uh, it's very, I'm almost done. I have four more after this. This one is very interesting. If you want to understand why the British tabloid derangers and the firm behave like a jilted stalker X, it's because they are exactly that. All right. It's exactly a minute. Let's listen from them it's just racism it's well, colonialism and it's racism but it, it, i think it's it's just that but it's soup it's deeper than that because you're also forgetting that this woman of color was allowed in their words to come into and, and be a royal 
and she walked away from it. Yes. That yes. was the atomic bomb here. She left here. them. It, it's, you see it in much, much smaller levels. When a football player retires early, you'll see the, the, all the fans go, what are you doing? You just, how dare you? Because the fans are like, you have this privilege. We're mm. letting you play for the Detroit Lions. That's everybody's dream. And when somebody says, it's not my dream, mm. that's when the vitriol right. comes out. They get insulted. Out. And what this, what this woman of color did was she unknowingly dismantled yes. this mental high, this the entire basis of a lot of people's lives is like the highest thing is the mm -hmm. Royals, and if she walks away from it, well, then what is what, what does well that say said. about what you've dedicated your life to? Very well, well said. Yes. Mm -hmm. Three of you, well. Okay. Yes. So there's that here. Yeah? Not only did the small family, they simultaneously victimize and criminalize one, but they ran to success. Or more lauded than that cult could ever be for being anything but like them. Okay, ouch, baby. All right. Proving even more how useless the world institution is. All right. I can't speak for Harry and Meghan, but we're declaring war on the monarchy. If that's okay, if that's what they want, if they want a fight, we'll give it to them because they will never get any peace as long as they keep hating, bullying, harassing, and stalking the Sussexes. Well said. There's that. That's an ad. Okay, I just want to call out the, the truth, that's all, okay? Who walks away from the warriors? I tell you what, Megan might be a small woman in size, but she's mighty. She's beautiful, smart, so resilient and strong. Megan is powerful, wow. She deserves to be studied. Stand up for the Duchess people. 43% bronzer. Okay, royal well, family, how dare you? Harry and Megan, F around. Was it and deuces? All right, let's go to the next one. It's the video that I wanted to share with you. Now this is completely off royal. T Maybe there's some connection to it, but I thought I share it with you. A lot of the squad. I'm looking. Look at what's come going on, on. Come on. Okay, that's what I was looking for. A lot of the squad retweeted that, but I picked this one. All right, this is so good. It made my morning. There's a thumbs up. Bunch of hypocrites who love to go to other people's country, especially black countries, to lecture them is the audacity for me. All right, Guyana president, presidential, okay, that's that here. To Stephen Sarko, a new one without fear or favor. Okay, two minutes and 20 seconds. Let's listen. Let's take a big picture look at what's going on here. Over the next uh, decade, two decades, it is... Uh, expected that there will be 150 billion dollars worth of oil and gas extracted off your coast it, it's okay all i'm thinking as he was asking the president that country i'm like so what so what that's theirs not yours but continue an extraordinary figure but think of it in practical terms that means according to many experts, more than 2 billion tons of carbon emissions will come from your seabed, from those reserves. And, be and this is the psychology of things that they're trying to play on people, all right? To make, oh, if you use those war, uh, oils, this is what you're going to cause the earth and all of that. But if it was them who was extracting it, you will hear all the positive, all the beautiful words in the dictionary that they will be throwing at it. Perfect example, look what uh, the Okovenko River thing here that Harry was advocating for because the company in Canada trying to extract oil. Not, did they find oil yet or are they going to do exploration kind of thing to see if there's oil there? Okay, so that's another version of this. But this one is because they're not in control of it. They're not in control of it, so they piss about it. They're doing the psychology thing on the president. But let's continue. Be released into the atmosphere. I, I don't know if you as a head of state went to the COP Let in Dubai. Right there. Good. Let me stop you right there. Do you know that Guyana has a forest forever that is the size of England and Scotland combined? A forest that stores 19.5 gigatons of carbon? A forest that we have kept alive, a forest that we have kept alive. Does that give you the right? We, no, Does no, that no, no. Wait a second, wait a second. Guyana, wasn't that the country? I I think there was a screenshot that I share with you, either in one video or on my community board. They sent troops to the coast of Guyana, right? The UK sent their uh, ships to the coast of Guyana, and then there was another country who sort of wanted to back Guyana? Let me look it up. 
it just crossed my mind i'm sorry let me pause yes they did i remember this it's because of the oil it's because of the oil um there's a video somewhere but i'm not gonna play it it says uk sent naval ship to guyana amid venezuela border this is the pretense of them okay as if okay because of the venezuela situation but technically they want the oil they're gonna create chaos and then while they're creating chaos they're gonna extract the oil so that i may talk squirrel and before you know it if guyana ever get back to its senses again okay now they will not have control of it all right so there's this here did the uk send a naval ship to guyana amid venezuela border dispute britain will deploy a naval ship off guyana later this month its Ministry of Defense said on Sunday, as the South American nation faces a border dispute with neighbor Venezuela over the oil rich, okay, that's this here, uh, region. What was the other thing here? Did Venezuela hold military drills after UK sends warship to Guyana? Uh, that was the reason. Okay, Venezuela has ordered the armed forces to hold military exercises in response to the UK's decision to send a warship to support neighboring Guyana. Okay, this is why Venezuela was doing that. Let me not let me not go there where is it okay so this is what all this is about so let's continue with this no, give I, you that, the that, right that, to release that, that all of this carbon right. does from that give you the right to, to lecture us mm -hmm. on climate change i am going to lecture you on climate change because we have kept this forest alive that stores 19.5 gigatons of carbon that you enjoy that the world enjoy, that you don't pay us for, that you don't value, that you don't see a value in, that the people of Guyana has kept alive. Guess what? We have the lowest deforestation rate in the world. And guess what? Even with our greatest exploration of the oil and gas resource we have now, we will still be uh, net zero. Guyana will still be net zero. With all our exploration, a couple of we'll points. still be net zero. No, no, there's no, no powerful, powerful no, no, words, no, no. Mr. President. Well, no, no, okay. I, 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 he raised that thing about the oil. He raised the the topic about the oil but all of a sudden when facts is being thrown at him wait 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 he doesn't want to hear that okay all the chaos they were about to start i don't know how it is i didn't follow through but i've heard about it and i shared it with you okay sending naval to their borders pretending they're gonna protect with guyana that is okay now he doesn't want to hear the fact let's let me move it no he was stopping him let's continue I am not completed as yet. I am not finished as yet. I am just not finished as yet. Because this is a hypocrisy mm -hmm. that exists in the world. We, the world in the last 50 years, has lost 65% of all its biodiversity. We have kept our biodiversity. Are you valuing it? Are you ready to pay for it? When is the developed world is going well, to pay for it? Or are you, you in the pockets? You, are you in the pockets of those who have damaged the environment? Are you in the pockets? Are you and your system in the pockets of those who destroyed the environment mm. the, through the industrial revolution and now lecturing us? Are you in their pockets? Are you paid by them? Are you all paid right, to give right, them uh-huh can stand the facts let's yeah. all right let me read some of the comments okay the good president came on with facts that said receipt and proof the reporter even had the audacity to try and interrupt them he is still recovering from that burn exactly yes i noticed that the reporter interrupted him because he wanted the prime minister to shut up mm -hmm. isn't it just brilliant showing up these so-called journalists for exactly who they are bigoted bullies okay that's why it's the audacity for me all right that's an ad okay love this mr president calling him the truth that's it all right so that's that let's go to the next tweet these are some minor little dis discussion that was going on and uh, i wasn't gonna record but they were too good to leave out 
Okay, so now I have two tweets left. These are a little lighthearted. This is the squad now. If you don't look at this very carefully, you will think this is true. All right, maybe I should create another paycheck that should surely send them over the edge. This is what the, uh, the check said. Princess Megan, upgrader and chief. <laughs> Upgrader and chief, this is the address here. One, two, three. I'm Rich Bitch Avenue. <laughs> I'm Rich Bitch Avenue, Montecito, California. Pay to the order of that's uh, his name, uh, the squad is name on Twitter, Cloud Nuggets, uh, Squad Ranger for fifty dollars. Or was it 50,000? I guess the UK, when they write uh, the thousands, they put period, but I thought it was karma. All right, but anyway, 50,000. All right, $50,000 from the Bank Royal Bank of Montecito, 3456, three, we run this street. <laughs> <laughs> California, there's the address here. There's this here. Receipt for receipt pulling and the de and deranger dragging Princess Megan. <laughs> That's Megan who signed that. <laughs> that was so funny. I swear, royalists aren't the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> there's that here. All right, so that's this here, the street, the bank, the amount, there's a laugh here. I don't know about the rest, y'all, but I got paid. What I like is the fact that they'll believe this and start taking screenshots. Yeah, they will. <laughs> They're so dumb. Okay, Mr. Nugget, did I warn you? It's Good Friday, but we want this street. What the F? There's the fire and the laugh. It's called Good Friday because you mean to be a good person today of all days. <laughs> Crushing the deranger's hopes and dreams is doing the Lord's work. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> all right, let me do the last one. So there's that here. A trip down memory lane, day 27. March 2018, Harry and Meghan in Belfast, Northern Ireland. A hilarious exchange after five-year-old Jude Campbell under strict restrictions to give a Cadbury Easter egg to Prince Harry had other ideas when the time came, although he did promise to share it under princely duress with his sister. All right, 48 seconds. Let's listen. I'm sorry, there'll be screenshot. I cannot just let it play. Oops. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You don't want to give it to me though, you want to keep it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, would, you prefer, would you prefer to keep it for yourself? Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you, you can keep it. Happy, happy Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Is that bad? I don't know. Yeah. You gotta share, you gotta share it. Is this your sister? Yeah. Share it yeah, sister. sister. <laughs> what are you gonna do with this egg, Jude? Um, I, I'm gonna share it with my sister. You're gonna share it with your sister? I was just reading this here. Look at Chris Chip right there quickly. Bet he misses them. Okay, him because uh, the squad on that, um, the Sussex is on that there. Look at him now. He could, you know, create content, but now he can't. The Good Sussex. boy, because that's what Prince Harry told you to do, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he didn't seem that keen, did he? I, that egg. No, I, I, I actually tried to brave him. I actually said, I'll give you an egg twice to say. Just give that pen, sorry. Let him work. <laughs> Uh, so that's that. But I only wanted to share that video with you, that's all. Okay, so please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. So there's a lot of things going on. Okay? So that's it. Thank you for watching.
Livanaka. It is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. Yeah. 